catch you guys up on a lot of things. Rat ke nove jo hai, that's when I'm starting my vlog. But I have a lot to tell you. My favorite thing about coming back home is I have a lot of packages. The first thing that I ordered a while back, I was very excited about. It's basically a lamp. It came, but the little problem is that's how it sounds. I am petrified to open it. That didn't go well for me, for sure. Well, next, I have these clothes. I'm going for Peru. They sent me clothes. It's so interesting, like picking something and hoping that it looks like it does in your head. And this this dress. It's a maxi, beautiful summery dress. It's a plaid blue. I thought I would contrast it with a crazy bright jacket. I think the print clash is perfect. This jacket is so pretty. The work is so intricate. I, there was this shop at the airport and they had really nice silver earrings. And I don't have a lot of nice silver earrings, so I got a couple. How different are these? I'm just very happy with that. And I usually source jewelry from this brand called Amreli. This is so beautiful. Fire is finally. Very excited about this. I got a lot of glass bangles. I wanted them in different colors and I really like these. The quality is really nice. And I got them in black, midnight blue and pirozi pink for brand shoots. More green churia. So this is uh, this. I, I've ordered some props and this is one of those. I also ordered this so I can style all my churia beautifully. This package which I'm very excited about. This I ordered. This is from a brand called House of CB. It is pretty expensive. But this is my anniversary dress. <gasps> also I ordered it like three days ago and it came internationally. So that was pretty quick. That's the neckline. It's like a corset dress with a frill at the bottom. I don't wear red too often and I'm trying to do it intentionally because I want to keep it for special occasions because red really suits me. You might think this video is over and my night is over because kal se bahut kuch hone wala hai but right now I need to decide what I'm wearing tomorrow for fashion week. So tomorrow I'm not attending any shows. I'm just going for a shoot but I need to get the outfit approved and I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. So that's gonna be fun. Look at Hopi. She's like, I'm not gonna leave you alone for one more second. That's fair, Hopi. That's... I'm gonna wardrobes me dick karna hai and find clothes because I have nothing to wear. Oh my god, lights look gay low ke hai. Anyway, I'm attending shows and uh, some designers are dressing me but I have two events that offer brands and I need to dress myself for it. Ah! This is first world problems and I'm aware so just totally ignore me. But I'm gonna see. Oh look at my shoes. How pretty are my shoes? <laughs> Let's start with jackets, okay? Will I wear something that is inappropriate and will make me sweat like a pig um, just to look cute? Yeah, yes I will. Yes I will. My last and first resort is always jackets. Hence I have so many. Pretty sure leather will be illegal. I will actually die. I'm so concerned right now. The only outfit I have sorted is something I can't wear. I, I don't want to show it to you guys right now. I want to save it. You'll see it at some point. Sorry for being such a tease. Is this looking good or is it like dated? At this moment, I have not figured out anything. I, I couldn't. Am I stressed? No. Screaming, crying, throwing up. I'll be fine. I got this. I got this. I know I look crazy, but hear me out. If nothing else, my, my lipstick try to do you okay? Don't just, anyway. If nothing else works, like literally nothing, I wear something basic, like some kind of suit interpretation. And I will pull the focus to my face. I will wear a chocolate brown, dark brown matte lip. That's what I'm gonna do. Genius. Always finish it out. I don't know how people do fashion week, but that's how we do fashion week here. 
no better feeling than climbing in your own bed. I see you guys commenting that seeing me live alone, you guys wish that you guys had your own apartment, etc. etc. But careful what you wish for. This only applies to you if you're very young. Think about it this way. Like right now you're living with your parents. And once you move out, that's it. That's your practically vidai. Because you're never gonna live with your parents anymore unless especially if you're a girl, unless you choose to, that's different. But you're gonna go out to study. What if you work in a different city and then you get married into a different city? And your home will never be a home. I mean, it will be home, obviously. But you will also have other homes and that's a bittersweet feeling. I'm gonna read a little bit. I didn't book my book here. I'm midway through. Tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. But look, my pimple is coming here. It's very big. Like the big, big one that lasts a really long time. Just in time when I need to get out of the house. Fun. Anyway, song of the day today is called A Place in the World. It's from Taylor's debut album and I think she wrote it when she was like 13 and it's it's a very simple but it's a very strong song in my opinion. Go have a listen. I'll see you tomorrow.